You know, I spend uh, the majority of my time with Sam's driving, driving, flying, working, doing so many different things. A lot of my time commuting. And it's frustrating, especially whenever you're dealing with national traffic. Bumper to bumper. And it just becomes nerve wracking. I mean, to have to drive constantly and being stuck in traffic. And... But is it where my focus is? Or is it really what I spend the majority of my time doing? Because if I think about it, I only spend about an hour back and forth from the office each day, regardless of how heavy traffic really is. I mean, if I have no traffic, I'm really driving 20 minutes to 30 minutes. But with heavy traffic, I'm driving maybe an hour and 15 minutes one way. So all in all, I'm really only driving two and a half hours out of a 24 hour period. I say that to say this, as I begin thinking about what I'm gonna say in this dashboard confessional, it all began with one simple thought. Man, I spend the majority of my day in my vehicle. I mean, really, how much of an untrue statement was that? But isn't that really what we do? We falsify things so much and make ourselves believe so many things because of where our perspective is. Isn't that the way the Israelites were? I mean, somewhere between two and three million people, two and three million people traveled for 40 years in what should have been an 11 day trip. And in the end, only two of the original people made it to their final destination into the promised land and a lot of it was because of how sour their perspective was i mean they weren't even thankful and appreciative of what they had before them whenever their food was even supplied for them they didn't even do their own praying for them no they had moses to do their praying for them and i wonder sometimes if my own life gets to that point if I'm so bitter that I would say I spend most of my day driving. You know, as sour as I can get about the amount of traffic that there is in Nashville, I'm sure that as I sit with my truck and my wife's car that are both paid for, mind you, that as I sit with two vehicles that there are people in this world that would be absolutely thrilled to death to even have a vehicle of their own. I mean, they'd love to even have that problem <laughs> to be stuck in traffic to begin with because they walk for miles and miles and miles and miles just for the privilege of getting water. And yet I sit in my house with the same leaky faucet that I've had for four or five months that I've done nothing about and probably wasted more water than they've drunk in the same amount of time. Sometimes I wonder where we get our perspectives from and how <laughs> messed up we've become intolerable of so many certain things. Is this dashboard confessional all over the place? Perhaps. Is this dashboard confessional more of a reflection of things that I'm thinking about? Perhaps. But is there a chance that maybe this dashboard confessional relates to things that you could be complaining about too? You see, it's all just a matter of perspective. And in the end, that perspective matters on what we spend our time doing. And you know, I've had the article that's been up on the website for the past few days about God give me one more day. And I wonder what we've done with that one more day 
important because each and every day we've had the opportunity to have one more day to do something with our lives, to invest in someone else's life, to have that one more chance to be able to breathe some breath of life, to breathe some wisdom, to share in God's love with someone else. And what have we done with it? I say it because it's important. I say it because this life is nothing but a vapor. This life is nothing but a glimpse in time compared to all of eternity. And yet sometimes we take it for granted. So what will you do with the time that you have before you? What will you do before it's too late and this vapor is gone? What will you do when there's no more song list to make? When there's no more worship set to be planned? What will you do when there's nothing more than have a need to be bound? And to have an accountability for everything that's been done in your life. Me, I don't want to be caught driving about traffic like I was just five minutes ago. Nor do I want to be stuck wandering through Egypt. <laughs>